What is going on everyone? My name is Boyd and I'm back with some more Age of Mythology, the Titans action spawning in the top of the map in the red color playing as Poseidon. His name is Scotty. His opponent today in the blue color playing as Ra. His name is Chemo. The map is Mediterranean. Oh no, not Mediterranean. Why is Boyd pick Mediterranean? Well, I promise you this game's going to be good. This game is going to be good. I'm excited to see what these guys are going to come up with uh, and uh, and see how it's going to eventuate in this game. Recently, or not so recently, but there's been a lot of slight development with Ra Meta on Mediterranean over the past couple of years uh, that is very, very different to how it used to be played. And what, what Ra players are kind of trying to do nowadays is... Uh, is get enough docks out that they can kind of just sneak fish every now and again with what they get early and actually grab an early town center. Now, this isn't the only way to play a game uh, with Ra, but it's definitely uh, a possibility to go for because it really forces your opponent to make some serious, uh, serious considerations. If you've got two town centers up yeah. and your opponent's only got one, even if they've got fishing economy, they can't realistically stop your fishing economy without investing tons of resources into doing it. Therefore, you aren't actually as far behind as you might expect to be with the fish economy being so good. So we'll see if Kimo is going to go for that. Right now, it looks to be, uh, just from seeing his build right now, it kind of looks to be that build. Uh, if you want to be going for a 4.30 advance time with Ra here, it's really important to get early villagers on gold so that you can throw your temple down because you want it, you want it to be being built by about, uh, be, at least be started by about 2.20 or 2.30. I think it's 2.20, but the idea is you 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 can you can definitely do, do a 4.30 build and have a really, really solid economy, spam cabinets out and hold the water here, but... Uh, that's not what we're going to be seeing here for Kimo. Kimo's going for the extra gold over here. He's spamming docks, already putting a second dock down, spamming fishing ships out. Scardi, on the other hand, uh, the the Poseidon or Greek meta kind of was designed uh, maybe about five, six, seven years ago. Uh, and the idea is essentially that you want to you wanna skip the granary and go straight onto pigs so that you can get as many fishing ship out and be able to do a nine fishing ship 430 or 415 advance time depending on how, uh, depending on your god. If you're playing as Poseidon using Lua, you can actually eat the hunt, get a little bit more food, advance a little faster, have a little bit more advantage, still have nine fishing ship, be very, very strong. So we'll see what... Uh, We'll see what Scardi is going to come up with here as a response to what Chemo is going to do. And if Chemo is indeed going to be going for this more boomy, uh, water-ignoring play. And this is the thing. I remember when I was playing a little bit of Age of Empires 4, I got into some debates about um, with some with some people about, well, on, on water maps, what if I don't want to go water? Why should I have to go water? Why are you making me go water? I should be able to stay on land and uh, and and be completely fine and just decide I don't want to go water. It's fine. Uh, the reason that this argument makes no sense is because you've got a resource available to you that is otherwise unavailable to you. And if you uh, ignore said resource and your opponent, opponent doesn't, they will be at an advantage regardless of uh, of how much you wish it not to be the case, and the reason why Age of Mythology or Age of Empires players think this way is uh, for several different reasons. But I think the main one is that water uh, water fighting isn't actually like crazy uh, crazy important, like not crazy important, crazy fun. Like if you make the water water uh, things exciting to be to be played on then you will find p people want to play water anyways onwards and upwards we'll see how things are going to go temple here coming up for chemo and he is going for a very late advance time going for a 4 15 ish and he's going to be going up through ta he's going to send all these villagers over onto gold pharaoh probably move over onto gold he's got himself th almost three docks coming up scardi he is way on his way he's already aries here 97 percent of the way through as the hippocampus is already in here. And this is actually a little bit, I would say a little bit strange here for chemo. 
This is not what I would have expected. At this time, I would have expected to see four docks up with the fifth dock already coming down. You can do a nine fishing ship advance time, which is roughly what Kimo's done. He's got eight fishing ship and be able to get five docks and be up at, at 515. Um, as we're seeing villagers staying on the food here, finishing up these pigs. Uh, the monument to the villagers is a little bit late here for Kimo as well, which means his Shadoof is going to be late. As we see the fishing ship coming back here, the villager going to get pushed off, this dock going to get uh, prevented, and Scardi going to be very, very happy about the position that he is in right now. He, he's going to have full claim to this water. He doesn't need to kill off these docks, but... Uh, he's going to have to pull back a little bit. And what Kimo can do here is actually drop his fishing ships out to finish off this dock if he really wants to. As Tar comes through, the village is going to come over onto this town center here. There is a little bit of hunt that he can grab on this position, but he's definitely going to want to farm as soon as he can. Potentially putting the priest onto the monument to the villagers here to increase his favor income to get Shadoof out a little bit faster might be a way to play. At this point, lots of villagers on wood. Uh, how's his goal going? He does have himself... Uh, his pickaxe here, and uh, I guess fortunately or unfortunately for Kimo, uh, Scardi is playing this one too well. He's going to send his Cyclops in to take out the dock, and he hasn't even been baited into using Pestilence. So Kimo making some fairly... Uh, Kimo making some... some fairly poor early game decisions in terms of uh, when ordering things to come out uh, and, and deal with that. Okay, I could just imagine if he had four docks here. Imagine he loses this dock, loses this one. He's still got three docks remaining. The town center can come down and then he could potentially start training units himself as we do see uh, an interesting an interesting shifting sands. <coughs> it's not the shifting sands I would have gone for as uh, Kimo is... I mean... Shifting Sands is an invaluable god power. And this Cyclops, while strong, is just going to walk away with a little bit of HP remaining. As Kimo is still waiting on that Shadoof. We move over onto, the, onto the, uh, the mining camp here. And what Scardi should probably do right now is he's getting himself per scene. He just needs to send some villagers over to drop this town center here and grab this town center over here. Go three town centers right now uh, and live the dream here. As the uh, archer ship's going to finish off these docks. Kimo is not building anything here. He's getting himself the Shadoof. The yeah, send the, send the yeah. villagers to gold, my friend. Kimo uh, waiting on that Shadoof to, to build his farms here. <laughs> oh, it's so awkward. It's so awkward. Oh, well. Yeah. Fishing ships do pop out over here now for, uh, for, for Scardi to take down. As they're going to be very Thanks. sad. They're going to get taken out. Talents are coming up. Scardi, he's got him, getting himself his next town center. No, not just yet. Going to be dropping some forward stables here. This is exciting. He's going aggressive in the classical age. This isn't what I would normally think would happen here. After you spend all of these resources on the triremes, uh, I would think town center. Oh, I can't, I can't put my map. I think town center, heroic age, and then just be in a better position here because. You've got three town centers, your opponent doesn't, and, and you can just deal with it like that. Not only that, you're, you know, your opponent doesn't have uh, shifting sands. And the thing is, if the thing, I, I'm gonna, just, I'm gonna try and nail this idea in. Your opponent went Aries, means no ceasefire, means shifting sands value just shot up. Fift, shifting sands value just shot up. We see the armory coming down for chemo, so that means that. What you can do here for chemo, if you really want to, is you can sit in your base and you can build siege and you can build uh, camelry and you can send your rock forward over to this location or this location or this location, shifting sands onto it, kill the town center and then take it for yourself and then find yourself in a bit of an advantage. As we see the Wadget here getting uh, a little bit pushed back here as the wall's coming through and Scotty's going to take the full, uh, full map control here. Uh, fortunately for... Kimo is getting a little bit more fishing economy here. He still hasn't thrown any docks up. He's, he's trying to trying to get this food income, but Scardi is going to say, no, not today. Villagers just moving forward. They might be trying to grab this town center for themselves. So we'll see how that's going to go. Uh, Scardi now, plenty of plenty of villagers coming through. Lots of food income. We see the, the barracks coming down. The armory just about to come up. Kimo's going, well, I need to get a second gold mine. So this one's going to be it. 
because this gold mine over here is uh, does he know about it he does know that there's a stable here in an archery range so he knows that his gold is going to be a little bit difficult to grab as now the armory is up we'll be able to see hathor coming through as more houses getting thrown Good. down the spearmen are over here uh, and Scardi gets control of this town center as well. Does he have an armory? Not just yet. Still pumping out those villages as best as he can. Moving up onto this position to eat the lion. I mean, it's a lot of resources to invest into eating a lion, but each to their own. Why not? And we'll see how it's all going to go. As now we see the settlement coming down for Scardi. He is ready to do all the things. Kimo over here now. He still hasn't clicked up. I'm a bit surprised. He's got the armory. I'm not sure what the plan is here for, for Kimo. He's, he's, uh, maybe he thinks he's already clicked up. He's still making these spearmen. Villagers are now going to come over onto this location here and grab this spot. Maybe dropping a couple of towers here with crenellations could be a, a safer, cheaper way to make sure you hold on to this position. But we'll see how it's going to go. As more farms coming up, the villagers finishing up over there. And now we finally see Hathor as the god of choice. Now, Ra on this map has got some very, very nice shenanigans. So I've already talked about shifting sands, but also rock raids, not in terms of catapults or rock side builds, are something that are really, really strong here. As the villagers are going to try and push through this, like, I'm not sure what his plan is here. He, does he, he doesn't know that there's a town center here. Oh, he doesn't know Scardi's taken this town center. And, and Kimo is looking for his own third, and it's just not here. The army is not going to be strong enough. Kimo's going to see this and go, oh, better retreat back. <coughs> there's a world in which uh, Kimo might be able to villager rush this down if he gets himself skin of the rhino. But I think that that's... Uh, Jeepers, he's going for it. <clears throat> he does not care. He's like, yep, I'm uh, fat enough of this. I'm not going to I'm not gonna deal with this today. As the Pharaoh is going to come in, the town center very smartly. They're going to be starting to take that one down as Hathor comes in. We do see some uh, Hippocon coming through for Scardi, as I'm sure he's going through Aphrodite. So if he can get to the Heroic Age in time, it's going to be a tough time because Curse will get dropped. Units will be able to come down. I'd like to see some barracks getting thrown down and some military academies in. The town center is still under fire here as Kimo is putting everything into this attack. Still no, uh, still no skin of the rhino coming through for Kimo, which is a bit of a surprise here. As the villagers look like it will, they will be able to finish off this town center, but at what cost? Lots of resources being spent into taking this down. There's definitely going to be a curse getting dropped in here as it's about to pop. And not only that, Nemean Lions are going to be coming through as we do see a Pestilence getting dropped onto this position. But Kimo's already 118 of 120 population, so that's just not going to cut the mustard, as it were. And now Kimo's in the Heroic Age, but... No gold. No gold in sight. 12 villagers on gold. Cannot get this town center for himself. We are seeing a little bit of a, a wall shenanigans getting thrown up over here as the villagers are going to be getting taken out on this position. Scardi in a bit of a difficult position here as he's now gotten this third town center back up. He's going to be looking to go to the Mythic Age, I'm sure, here and try and continue in this game as the villagers do jump onto this mining camp here as these ones finish up on this wall over here. That's very, very sneaky there by Scardi uh, as he's now actually managed to uh, remove a retreat path. Maybe this is open. Oh, this is open here. You can 100% come through that location uh, as some units do pop out for Scardi. Uh, and this also, there should be a Nemean Lion making its way over here, I'm sure. Where is the Nemean Lion? Is the big is the big question. Meanwhile, we see the Patsukos raids coming in. Kimo does have himself access to uh, Locust to throw down somewhere, so we'll see if that's going to happen as the Spearman able to take out the Sipicon fairly nicely, and now Kimo's going to drop the Migdal Stronghold on this position as fast as he possibly can. 12 villages over there as the Wadge is going to be getting some damage done. The Pharaoh coming over here can jump onto this mining camp to empower that one up, uh, and we'll see if this Migdal is going to come up or not. The question is, do you throw down a dock here? Because both the these town centers are in range of water so if you can get some docks going down and start thinking about some kind of early late game siege ship shenanigans it can be a really really 
easy way into an advantage as we are seeing Hapaspis coming in here but Kimo says no not today I will get my Migdol up and I'm going to hold on to this position with my with my life as the villagers do jump into that Migdol and we will start seeing Chariot Archers getting trained unfortunately for Kimo he's going to have to move these villagers out I mean he can just drop the Chariot Archer on the other side I guess so the villagers are going to come through we see the uh, Spearmen coming in onto this position Hapaspis are out though they are very very scary against those uh, those Spearmen as the Chariot Archer is trying to take them down as best as he can unfortunately for Kimo he's a uh, Migdol is currently not really doing all too much trying to take down villages but uh, it's uh, it's gonna it's gonna help him out just a little bit here as Scardi is motoring ahead pumping out those villages as best as he can if we take a quick look at the fishing ship over here he still doesn't have himself salt amphora which is a big upgrade we see the Nemean lion we found where he is and he is taking out this temple he's done a lot of damage to this and just to pick that one off as Kimo is still trying to push in here and Scardi's like yeah nah not not today I'm gonna just hang I'm just going to hang in here. One way forward here for for, uh, for Scardi would actually be to get a transport ship and then move in, uh, unload here, and put a, mig uh, a, a fortress down in this space here in order to hold this location uh, really, really nicely. Uh, but that obviously requires some some form of omniscience to, to work that out as the town center is going to attempt to come up. And now we've got cavalry coming through as well as chariot archers with no upgrades. Well, just now we're getting medium hippocomp, but basically no upgrades for Scardi. He doesn't really have uh, a lot of a lot of ability to hold against the Migdol army at this point in the game. So you do see that the Pharaoh gets taken down. These uh, spearmen trying to deal with this army as best as they can, but the Chariot Archer re reinforcements coming in from the top side to finish everything else off. And this army is going to be dealt with. This town center goes to the wayside of Kimo, and Kimo is finding himself in what looks to be a fairly even spot. He's got himself irrigation, shaft mine, no hand axe just yet, but he's got himself the big ticket upgrades as the rock has finally been spotted by a Hippolyta and will be able to finish the Patsukos off. You should be probably running the, the rock here and sacking the, the Patsukos to keep that alive because it's kind of a a big ticket unit here. While this is going on, monuments of the soldiers being dropped here as the uh, Nemean lion does get taken out by a priest. <coughs> and everything continues as if it was normal. Meanwhile, more raids coming in onto Scardi's economy. As Scardi is going to be, uh, he does react to it before the units start attacking, which is a which is nice. And we do see a bit of a locust swarm being dropped there, but unfortunately, the villagers get away without too much damage there they're going to jump into the town center and be completely fine nice play by uh nice play by scardi unfortunately kimo not clicking far enough in front there to take those ones out as the village is now going to move over onto the storehouse sometimes saving that locust for a siege tower push is actually the right way to play as we're seeing some raids still coming in onto this gold mine but what I mean by that is, like, you, you build some siege towers, you attack a town center, you cast locusts, and then the villagers can't take out your siege towers. Sometimes that's the right way to go. As we see these uh, units coming in here to try and take down the villagers as best as they possibly can. The villagers come over here to start shanking away. And we'll see how he goes with... Uh, defending against this, but... I mean, these, are, these are skin of the rhino villagers, so they are very, very buff. But they do indeed go down, and you don't really want to be fighting with them as Kimo actually manages to click up through Osiris here. And I'm sure Scardi is going to be thinking about uh, Hephaestus or Artemis here in the near future. And Artemis doesn't make a whole lot of sense because you can just make some, make some siege weapons and be fine here. But uh, we're probably going to be seeing Hephaestus here from Scardi uh, anytime soon here as the units going to be retreating away, looking to come onto this uh, temple, hit the villages that are trying to get the favor for Forge of Olympus, I assume. No, he is going through Artemis. He is going through Artemis. So, obviously, Scardi is feeling Earthquake disposition win the game is going to be a, a a very, very real way forward here. Now, let's check out Kimo's economy or, or uh, building upgrades. He's got himself uh, for, fortified town centers and sun-dried mud brick. We see a huge raid coming in onto this gold mine, completely telegraphed by Kimo. He literally walks straight through Scardi's base, and uh, and Scardi didn't react at all. He's gonna be losing a ton of villagers over here as they're gonna be retreating back into the town center. It's not the big that big of a deal. Scardi's got plenty of food economy. Does he have his upgrades for his fishing ship? Still doesn't have uh, Sultan Fora, which is making me very very angsty. I'm not happy about that one bit. Uh, Kimo, on the other hand, deals with this raid over here. 
Uh, one thing that's super important on Mediterranean is to get uh, signal fire, signal fires, is that what's called? And uh, that way you can see if any sort of side builds are coming in. But while this is going on, Scardi manages to throw a fortress in onto this position and Earthquake onto this town center while making those siege ships is gonna be a really, really devastating way to move forward here as Chemo's still going for the raids. He is hurting Scardi's economy quite significantly, but right now Scardi's still got 30 villages on gold, 23 on wood, 25 on food. He is completely fine here. More docks coming down. We still don't, we, we, we see a uh, Son of Osiris, Gobbao getting thrown down here. And the question is, will this earthquake take down this town center? I think the answer might be no. There's three buildings, four, like five, six buildings, maybe seven buildings here on this position. Uh, and it, might, it just might not go down. He, cl he clicks the earthquake, gonna be taking down the, uh, the siege works here. The town center looks like it will end up falling because he clicks it on the bottom side here, away from those barracks. Not going to be taking those down, but with the earthquake getting dropped, the town center going to be coming back up. Going to relieve some pressure here as Scardi has now got himself the juggernauts out. He is still not getting himself the the upgrade though. He's going to need to grab that fairly soon. And there it comes. Naval Oxybilly is coming in. Uh, very shortly, these units still kind of sitting idly by as the Chimera going to come in. If you micro the Chimera, you can actually kill off all of these units eventually with the special. Uh, but the Town Center immediately comes back up. Scardi can actually think about getting some uh, Petropolis in here. He's already got the walls up, so just a couple of towers to boot here are going to be really, really strong. Kimo, on the other hand, not reacting to the potential uh, siege ships coming into him at all. Uh, one way that um, one way that Scardi can continue here would be to drop his his archer ships here, 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 and here just to make sure he can de deny a dock from coming up as we are seeing a little bit of a raid onto this gold mine over here. The Chimera doing a little bit of micro, taking out these units slowly but surely as now the villagers decide, yep, time to come over here. See those units falling. Nice play. There's just a couple of chariot archers remaining here. This Chimera is going to town here. Absolutely insane as now the siege ships are in and that town center is under siege. Not a whole lot you can do. Siege Towers are a counter somewhat to the uh, Oxy Juggernauts because they get a little, I think they get a little bit of a bone. No, they don't get a bonus against uh, Siege. I, I feel like they get a bonus or, or something against the, uh, the Oxy Juggernauts. Maybe it's Catapults or something, but the Town Center for Chemo will end up going down here, it would seem, as Chemo is now starting his Chemo trade route in the bottom of the map. It's actually a good trade route. The, the, the Chemo trade route would be this corner, but he gets the good one for the time being. Because now we see this catapult dealing with the fortress over here. And the town center will be falling. The Migdal stronghold here will go down as well. And then Scardi can just move forward and grab this town center for himself. Do we see any docks coming up for Chemo? I don't see any docks anywhere at this point. What is Chemo's plan here at this point? He's got himself a son of Osiris. He's making himself spearmen here. 140 of 140 population. 18 favor in the bank. So not really thinking about a titan. Uh, what is his plan? Does he have a rock coming? No rock coming anywhere. These villagers over here trying to throw a Migdal stronghold up on this position. The monument to the soldiers is going to get taken out. Villagers now moving forward for Scardi. Scardi with tons of resources in the bank. Also going to be getting himself divine blood here. As, as now the uh, settlement is going to be coming in. Let's see how that's going to go. Now, the mummies on their way, doing the thing. Going to help out a little bit with denying this town and uh, getting a, a couple of extra minion spawns here. All right. I got a, I got some, uh, I got some chat, chat problems here. Let's just, uh, let's just make everyone, let's just, let's just calm everyone down. Let's just calm everyone down. All right. All right. All right. Fantastic. We'll talk about that later. Anyways, onwards and upwards. Town center. On the way now for Scardi. We'll see if he's going to get it up. Seven villages on the town center is maybe not going to be enough. But the Atlantis coming in. The Chimera comes in. We'll get a special attack off. Not quite. Six, two. Dead. Dead, dead, dead. Is now uh, the town center for Scardi is up. And we'll see how that is going to go. It's now Chemo. Making the mercenary cavalry doing the thing. Into you. Oh. More units 
coming out here for Scotty. He gets kind of pushed back just a little bit here, but in the end, the town's enter is up for Scotty, and he is, uh, is he able to support this is the question. Answer, yes. He's at 180, 180 population. He's got a, a pretty a pretty spectacular Matrius market here with about this much space between the market and the corner, but plenty of units, and the question just comes down to can the Son of Osiris, or is the Son of Osiris going to be enough to hold on to this thing? <clears throat> And we'll have to wait and see how that is all going to go, is the big question, I guess. Alrighty then. So now we see the stable getting taken down over here. The uh, son of Osiris getting suffering just a little bit of damage. <clears throat> but we'll get away and... I mean, where do you go now for Scotty to, to like solidify this position? I think the answer a lot of the time is is uh, Heliopoli. You go Heliopoli here, it can be, can be really, really good. I mean, there are spearmen to deal with, but the Heliopoli with some infantry units and everything else could be nice. We ask, oh, here's the, here's the plan for Chemo. The rock is out, the catapult rolling in and jump into this rock. But against... Uh, <clears throat> against... Greek, Greek has got that archer hero. The archer hero is really good. Archer hero can take down the rock, live the dream, and that can be it. So we'll see if this is going to work for Kimo. He's trying to get in onto this town center. There looks to be a range here behind this wall, but the wall is uh, is Scardy, so it's still not that safe. Meanwhile, those militia are going to swing around. What's, what's Scotty doing? He's still at full population. He's got some units in the main base over here, setting up on the top side, making some Hatiroi over there as well. Ah, uh, this is kind of where the majority of the population is, as the rock does pick up those catapult. Going to move over the other side, continue to try and take this location down, the, uh, the Polyphemus here. And we see the catapult got their upgrade now with Siege Engineers. Unfortunately, those catapult targeting down the wrong building there, as... He doesn't really want to kill the military academy. 37 HP. Because uh, <clears throat> it's got militia that can come out and then take down the catapults here just a little bit. But while this is going on, looks like the town center will fall. A whole bunch of watchtowers are coming in onto this position. Meanwhile, we've got some Tyroi over here. They're not the best unless you've got a ton of them. As we see a dock coming down for Kimo and Scotty says, all right, let me take this position then. If I can't continue to hold this one, I'll put pressure somewhere else. Some cheeky walls coming down. These are some weird walls, but some cheeky walls coming down for uh, for Scardi here as he's trying to get this up. There are these triremes that can take out the uh, the spearmen here. Is some heavy uh, champion chariots in for Chemo, able to hold in, hold on here a little bit. As now the catapult pushing forward, we're going to see Scardi attempting to hold over here. Still only at heavy hoplites. He's got plenty of resources in the bank though, and he's getting himself champion hoplites in uh, very very soon. Or champion infantry, I should say. And he's going to move forward here and try and take out these catapults. The the uh, son of Osiris is still hanging on strong here as we see some catapults getting torn down by the uh, the hoplites as best as they can. And it looks like the rock is too little, too lo too 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 slow here, too little, too late to save those catapults going into a weird position. But are those hoplites going to actually start thinking about taking the son of Osiris down a little bit here? As Kimo is still sitting 133 of 140 population. He's got himself those camel caravans. He's produced a lot of them. Still no empowerment. If you're playing Ra and you you can and you go Osiris, just get your second Pharaoh and chuck him onto this uh, onto this market. It's well worth the investment. That way you don't need as many camel caravans. You, in fact, you need 20% less to support what you've got. As we see the tower getting taken down over here, catapult dealing with that nicely as a fortress trying to get. Shot up here as Scardi is still continuing to try and get in onto this position. And we see the docks coming up over here for Chemo, but the Oxy Juggernauts are already in. One way to deal with this is to just get your catapults in and, and start showing, throwing the catapult balls in. Because uh, look at them. Catapult guts 100, gets 150% bonus damage versus ships. Uh, and the ships have got only 18% crush armor. So these catapults do tons of damage once the actual catapult hits. Uh, to those boats and you can take them down as we see this catapult getting taken out the fortress about to get up here for Scardi 
Uh, he could he could be spamming up tons of buildings in here as well. Scotty's got a lot of resources in the bank as we're starting to see some watchtowers getting thrown up over here. This fortress attempting to get up, but with the uh, catapult already over here, might be able to take it down really, really fast. But that will result in militia popping out for uh, for Scotty here as well. As now, uh, now Scotty is still building these satyroi trying to get in onto this town center, but I'm not sure it's the way forward here. They just get some walls in, get some patropoli. He's already got this wall set up, so one more wall into the barracks could be enough. Meanwhile, we see the Polyphemus coming in. That's a scary unit for a for a Ra player, but remember, kimo has got infinite gold right now, so he can just spam Mercenary out here if he needs to. And there's the walls that we were talking about coming down for Skadi. If he can get those in, he also should be thinking about getting stone walls up. It's a really, really huge upgrade as we see the docks coming down. Uh, the other thing is, if you just build a couple of... Uh, couple of docks and don't finish them then if the oxy juggernauts aren't paying attention if the oxy juggernauts aren't paying attention you can uh you can deal with those or they, they just keep on dealing damage and they don't get that bonus against the buildings under construction <coughs> as we see the barracks falling here and chemo is slowly but surely moving in onto this position as now we've got a handful of ramming galleys in for, for Kimo, who's also getting himself reinforced ram here to help those ramming galleys out and taking out these build uh, these uh, these siege ships. The catapults need to take down the guard tower first, though, because that does tons of damage versus ships. As these walls still not up, uh, and the Petropolis coming in, more Hatiroi coming through. They are only medium Hatiroi. It's a bit of resources being thrown down the drain for Skadi as Kimo is slowly but surely coming in onto this position as we see... The, uh, well, the roaming galleys get taken down by, by the guard towers. I was telling you, you got to kill those off. And they're still trying to build these ramming galleys as, as best as he can. You have to remember that Kimo is 20 population behind. And while he does get free population in Mercenary, you cannot merc water. Merking water is not possible. Uh, but now we are seeing the catapults going out to these towers, which is going to be a big, big help. Meanwhile, Chimera coming through here. This son of a size is going to be more than enough to deal with that one there, as Skadi still not able to quite sort this area out. He's going to throw down another fortress. The catapult was taken down. But I I still don't see any attempt here from Skadi to build, like... Well, he is getting a Petropolis out, but... Just a wall in here could be enough. Petropolis would be able to shoot this down. Now we see another catapult slowly taking the fortress down here. As the villagers are still pushing through here to take this out. Meanwhile, this guard tower is uh, is a, is a, is saving the world right now. As these docks still getting taken out. Kimo not able to get anything in here. <clears throat> Another way forward is to throw a Migdol up on this position. <clears throat> if you get a Migdol down while these boats are taking out the, the docks, then you can try and fight underneath the Migdol and, and that's going to be able to take down some of those boats a little bit easier. As the fortress here for Skadi does fall. This wall here coming up for, for Skadi as well. So he's trying to hold on to this position as best as he possibly as, as best as he possibly can. Meanwhile, more towers coming through here. There's a world in which this town center can go up here, but the juggernauts are coming back in. It's so many juggernauts. These cost three population. So for, for Skadi to hold this position, he needs more than 20 population to deal with this. So Kimo can actually hold here forever uh, against this many uh, siege juggernauts. As the uh, son of Osiris does take a lot of damage there by the uh, by the siege ships. And more towers coming in to hold on to this position. Still only watchtowers for Kimo. He's got no gold left in the bank for for some reason. As the hoplite does spot this position, there is a very very easy path for a for a side build here to block this trade route as well. You get a transport ship, or even you just wander around here. Secure this location and live the dream. Secrets of the Titans now coming through. Fiscardis is like, well, I need a big, big bad boy to push through my opponent. But remember, if you go for a Titan here, you're now not only needing the population in these siege ships to stop this tower center from going up, but also you don't have any units elsewhere. So we'll see how it's going to go. Now these uh, spearmen getting dealt with. Nicely. It's now the fortress getting thrown up. And 
the towers over here going down. We see more villagers coming through for Skadi to try and hold on to this one. These are these Oxy Juggernauts, they're not the best at actually dealing with catapults, but they're, they're pretty... They'll take them down eventually. The catapults, if you actually target down the siege ships, pretty good. I mean... Alternatively, Son of Osiris can come in and actually take out these Oxy, Oxy Juggernauts here and be completely fine as well. As the stables continuing to come up, and we'll see how it's going to go. Meanwhile, more towers over here going down is slowly but surely, it seems like Kamo is is stabilized and he's going to get this town center back up eventually here. It would seem it's just a matter of time, but that doesn't mean that the game goes Kimo's way either because well, there's a Titan coming. So we'll see if he'll be able to deal with that or not. Meanwhile, Kimo, he's got the favor. He just needs some wood income to actually get that, uh, get that Titan gate up. The problem is that, I mean, Kimo doesn't really have the, the, the villagers, does he? He's, he's got, currently he's only got 16 food, nine wood. And, well, he does have, like, 10 villages here building. So, that's looking like 30-ish villages. Or, like, nearly 40 villages. Which is none, essentially. And Skadi's got all the villages in the world to get this Titan up. So, I feel like Skadi is getting a Titan and Kimo is going to be struggling. The more, more towers coming up over here. The spammage on this location is very, very important here. As you see, the units pushing through here, 30% of the way through to Siege of the Titans. Catapult's now going to be taking out this fortress as well, as Skadi is still trying to push through here as best as he can. I, I think, does he realize there's a market there? Well, he does know there's a market there. He doesn't know what else is behind here, but I feel like if he knew that this space was all open, he could just come in and just spam, spam, spam buildings and, and slow push in onto this position. Maybe even over here would be a way as well. He doesn't know that that's a thing. So he's going to have to figure that out at some point. Meanwhile, more towers in. And these catapults are now going to be starting to take out the sitch. Look at that. One bang. If the, if the catapult hits, dead. One bang. Kimo's worked it out. The catapults can take out the juggernauts easily. He's worked it out. The tower is going to go down as well. Kimo's not going for the docks anymore. The Titan is 50% of the way through here. As the catapult... Still going after these ships and will be able to take them down ever so uh, ever so quickly here. Boom, another one will go. You, you just kind of, you don't even have to focus them. You, well, you, well, you do have to focus. You go one here, one here, one here. Uh, make sure they're not all going after the same one and eventually one shot will take them down. As this town's injured now getting empowered up. Scardi, he needs to get some more ships in here. Does he have some more queued up? He does have some coming in as the, the juggernauts Going to be denying this town center yet again. These catapults going down just a little bit here. The guard tower is able to hold on to them for just a little bit. Meanwhile, Wall's still pushing it onto this position here as the Petropolis able to take down the home town center of Kimo is absolutely huge. The Titan Gate getting dropped now for Kimo as he can't actually build it just yet because he needs all the villages he currently has in his base to repair this up as the cavalry trying to come through. But there's towers here. There's walls here. There's no way through onto this position. The town center at 400, 500 HP. Kimo's still trying to grab this town center up as the son of Osiris gets taken out here. The catapult still doing some damage, but the juggernauts are too much as Skadi is able uh, just about to take this town center down here. As not only that, he gets himself his own Titan. His villagers go back to work. The Titan going to be able to move forward, start taking everything else down. Meanwhile, these catapults are still dealing damage over onto this point. Take out that fortress there. Uh, but well, it looks like the, cat the catapult Petropolis situation has been dealt with a slight gap in the wall here. Enough is enough for Kimo to hold on to this position. I think one or two of those catapults weren't actually focusing the town center down. Had he had Scardi actually focused there, he would have possibly been able to deal with that. As now the Titan gonna be moving its way in onto this position and well, Skadi's got no population left. He's only got buildings. We do see some uh, of these militia coming out, and Poseidon being one of the few gods that can actually defend at max population with just buildings because those militias just keep popping out and pushing you above population cap. As these mercenary, and the, with the help of the catapult, might maybe be able to take down that fortress there. 
as the villagers sneaking in onto this position here. They want to grab this town center and they want to grab it now as they push through. You got to be a little bit, a little bit patient here. You don't want to lose the village. Maybe you do want to lose the villagers. I don't know. The villagers all jumping onto this location. You're going to be shanking down the catapult as well as the uh, the titan's going to come in and clean up these towers very, very quickly here. I do have a thousand HP, but I'm pretty sure this is splash damage. Yeah, splash damage is going to deal tons of damage. Three hitting, three hitting the towers basically. The uh, the catapult going to get two banged here as well as taking down more towers. Uh, and the question is going to be, can Kimo get out his Titan in time? He's up to 40% of the way through. The uh, whoop, mi micro the micro the Titan just a little bit, please. Okay, Scott, click, click the there you go. There you go, as now these uh, these towers are, are not going to be long for this world here. And he does click the good one there, because he's going to be able to deal damage to all of the towers that are next to each other, uh, as well as pick off some of those human units, but he still needs to focus a little bit on this Titan to clean up everything else, as all of this forward base seemingly has been dealt with but while this is going on Scotty getting this town center back is going to be absolutely huge plenty of resources in the bank to spend and while this is going we still only see like full bronze in for chemo uh, and not not even full bronze for Scotty. both players not buying their armory upgrades here for whichever reason as the final guard tower going to be coming down we do see that this catapult manages to deny this one again as the uh, the Titan going to be smacking this uh, this catapult the best as best as he can, I've managed to kill that one off. But the Town Center gets denied. This uh, Dow is still sitting alive here at 100 HP. He's going to be picking off most of these villages. There's five remaining here. It's finally, the Tyroid going to be able to push in and, and clean those up. Now Chemo's Titan 80% of the way through. Scardi, on the other hand, he's got his Titan out, but it's lost nearly 500 HP, which isn't the end of the world. But the question is going to be, will Scotty have enough time to get this town center up or not? Meanwhile, he's still pushing through on this side, making Heliopoli here, wanting to take out this town center eventually is the idea, I assume. No villages on farms anymore for Scotty. No, <clears throat> basically no villages at all. He's got 14 villages on food, and those are, those are fishing ships. And he's got 10 villages on wood. So he's got 10 villages gathering resources right now. So it wouldn't be a bad idea to start producing some more to push forward grab this town center for himself as the titan comes through for chemo and where to now do we just see the titans trading for each other it seems like that's normally the the best way to play here as the uh migdol stronghold gonna come down this pharaoh getting some good damage done onto this titan here it's gonna be about a thousand hp difference as Chemo's Titan is finally going to start moving, as we see the Heliopoli coming through for Scardi onto this position. Fortified walls are in for Scardi as well. He's going to continue to throw up these fortresses as we see the uh, the Titan moving onto this position here. What's in this rock? One lone catapult here. Going to move forward to take this out as the Titan retreats back just slightly here. And the catapult gets dropped. The... Uh, Town Center gets slight, ever so slightly denied. Uh, I say ever so slightly, it's very slightly, very denied here. As the Titan does pull back. And Scardi is going to want to try and fight underneath these Oxy Juggernauts if he can. If he can fight underneath the Oxy Juggernauts, he will. And he's kind of forcing Kimo into that position. Because look, these Juggernauts, they shoot three arrows or three baluster or something. And that's going to be a lot of damage to deal. As that's exactly what's going to happen here. I assume here is... Scardi takes all six of those Juggernauts to deal damage over here. But unfortunately, the Polyphemus is currently stuck. He needs to delete the stable and get this bad boy in here. So Vera gets a little bit too close for comfort here. It will get taken out, and the Polyphemus will come forward and start being able to get some damage done onto this Titan. As Kimo is somehow, some way, still managing to stay alive in this game. Uh, at, but while this is going on, the Petropolis... Coming in onto this fortified town center, we'll be able to take that one out. How much HP is left in this Titan? 600 HP, and not only that, the uh, the Polyphemus is on the back foot here. Going to be able to deal plenty of damage onto this Titan. The town center gets denied yet again, but now the uh, Atlanta can chase this one down with the help of the Polyphemus. 
and this Titan is not long for this world, not going to be able to do all too much. Might even be worth just deleting it at this point, because it's like 200 HP and 20 pop, as it does end up falling. While this is going on, Town Center over here still getting taken down. Siege Tower is pushing through here. Chemo's next option might just be simply to throw a Wonder down because what else can he do here? Can he push out? Not really. He doesn't have the food. He needs to be building villages here, which he is doing ever so slowly. If we take a quick look at the food buy rate, he can buy food for about 200 uh, gold and get himself uh, enough food to continue building villages. We see these units still trying to push through here, but now we've got mass hoplites pushing in. Scardi, his economy is looking looking great. He's 160 pop, not over overproduced, but he still doesn't have those. Uh, well, he's got nearly full armory upgrades now as well. The docks coming down for Chemo yet again. He's managed to get them out, and he's got mass ramming galley through right now. He's got 10 ramming galleys ready to push onto this position. There are no towers up just now for. Uh, for Scardi, so these uh, these Oxy Juggernauts will be falling and Chemo may be able to grab this town center for himself. But the big, the bigger question, the more important question is, over here we've got four Patropoli to take out this town center and it's going to go down eventually as the Heliopoli sitting strongly in on this position. This wall wants to get thrown up but not going to be able to just yet as the Heliopoli slowly moving forward. The villagers get in, going to start building this one up. The Siege Tower is still pushing through over here as all of those Oxy Joggernauts are taken down. The villagers though for Kimo, he doesn't have enough to push in here and get this, uh, and get this town center up just yet. And look at his resources. He's got no resources in the bank here. The Pharaoh Inn gets immediately targeted down by the uh, by the Hoplites getting popped out onto this side. Going to attempt to jump into the fortified town center to repair it back up. But kimo has got no resources in the bank. He's got nothing remaining here. The Hoplite gets in and the town center goes down. Kimo is one town center now trying to get onto this position. He's got two Pharaohs left, but... All of these ram and galleys sitting in here. The towers are up on this position. This town center is not going to be allowed to come back up anytime soon here. The Petropolis are too huge. And Scardi is going to be able to slowly but surely finish off this game. Meanwhile, the ram and galley is going to be looking to hit some of these fishing ships. Hit a little bit of economic damage onto Scardi. But, I mean, Scardi's got plenty. Plenty. Oh. Oh. Scardi loses the town center as this is all going on. As Camo gets out some Oxy War Barges, the game is not over just yet, ladies and gentlemen. The town center gets denied. The villagers coming back over here. There's no real, uh, there's no real navy through for Scardi as he was not paying attention, just like I was not paying attention there. And we'll see how it's all going to go. We'll see if Scardi's going to get this back up anytime soon. But remember, this town center is going to get denied. This one as well is now. Uh, he's now essentially Scardi's in a way. So we'll see if he's going to try and grab that one first as these uh, Pentaconta come forward and, and they're going to try and take out the Oxy War Barges as the dock's going to fall down for Scardi. But as this uh, as this goes on, Chemo says, game is too hard. One town center, very few resources in the bank. This trade route is is shot because he can't get the full, the, the, the full trade route shenanigans here. And even though Kimo does manage to kill a town center with his Oxy War Barges, or his, uh, or not Oxy War Barges, but yes, Oxy War Barges, he's not able to finish off, uh, he's not able to get his economy going and continue in this game as he just gets worn down by Scardi. A, a really, really nice try here from Kimo. He shows off that two town center play. I think it was a little bit underwhelming. I feel like, if he plays, if he gets like a more solid build to make this work, he's going to find that this is a really, really strong way for Ra to play uh, and be completely fine on water instead of risking it all on trying to out micro or, or out defend his opponents here. Anyways, uh, resources and all the other good stuff is, is going to most likely be uh, fairly heavily in Scardi's favor here as Kimo's civilian units are just so low here for the most part. Most of that is in inefficial, inefficient uh, camel caravans, uh, and that's why Kimo's so struggling here. Kimo with mostly a ton more units killed, a ton more buildings raised, uh, less units lost, less buildings lost, but he's just not able to make it work here in this game as Scardi takes it. If you guys enjoyed this game, please consider hitting the follow on Twitch. If you're on the YouTube, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next game.